Well, it's been about a year since I've put these damper slash stabilizers on. So I'd just like to do a review of them now and uh, see how they've held up. First of all, I can talk about the Permatrim. That's done its job. When I first got this motor put on, they'd set it to the normal standard, which is basically ventilation plate in line with the bottom of the hull. And that was just way too low. It would sit the back up too high and it would start to teeter around like you were walking around on high heels. So I kept raising it until I got past the point of where my transom would support it. So then I had to go and make up a 15 mil jack plate to raise it even more. And I made some extra lugs just so I could adjust um, the height and fine increments. And this is on the third lug that I made for it. So there's a bit more to go. And so as you see, the ventilation plate sits around about here now. So because of that, um, on tight turns and going over the, say, the lip of a wave, um, I'd get a slight cavitation, a ventilation of the prop. Not much, say about 50 RPM extra. You could just hear it go, a bit like, a, say, a recluse clutch or a slipper clutch on a dirt bike, or slipping your two-stroke clutch a bit. Um, very slightly, not too much. I could have gone to, say, cupping the prop, but then that would go into the dark arts of propeller uh, matching and things like that. So I went the easy way and got a permatrin for it. And that just keeps the water in there, prevents it from ventilating, and it works quite well. With the added bonus that it pops it up on the plane a little bit quicker. Um, I mean, it always had anyway. There was no problem getting up on the plane, but it was just an extra bonus, I suppose. So, oh, one more thing. Because of that, the um, the water would hit the um, these sort of panes and spray. So I had to put these little shrouds on just to prevent a bit of spray, which seemed to work well. Right. So this is the membrane that I put on the. Um, EVA urethane foam they don't stick too well to it but as long as you keep it as a membrane or a skin over the top it doesn't peel and it's, it's quite good I mean it's, very, it's the same stuff as you put on the deck deck tread so here it is here Kiwi grip both um, pontoons Took about uh, oh, three quarters of a pot of this. It's 40 bucks. I got it on discount, so um, it actually lasts quite well. And just looking at it, there's a few little bubbles from the heat of the sun. Um, this is after a year. Um, there's a little crack forming there, but just a bit, of, bit more of that. You know, just a dab of this on top of it, and it'll just reseal it. So let's have a look inside these eight bolts that are in the hull. As you can see, there's been no water at all gone in right. them. It's been pretty good. And those are the ones over there. So, no issues there. Um, some people thought there might be, but there isn't. And as you can see, this is the seal skin. It's still pressurized. Well and truly below that. The scuppers out the back, just a drain if any water gets in anyway, so never been an issue. I never actually had to worry about it. Um, but as you can see though, there's no water getting in, so there's no issue there. And yeah, it's been all good, been all good. Right, let's go to see some of the sea trials I've done in rougher conditions.
I can say is that the ride is plush and it's soft it's a soft and plush ride incredible <laughs> 